Hey, this is Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I want to talk to you about that select folder option that you've got in UiPath. And I'm going to give a little example here on how that select folder activity works, and then I'm going to use that select folder activity as the starting point to loop through all of the files in a given folder. I'm going to start this off by creating a new process project, and I'll call it selected folder project. As that's created, I'm going to open the main workflow window. And the first thing that I'm going to do in here is bring on the select folder option. And so there's the select folder action. Drag it on. And this select folder will actually bring up a folder selection tool like this, where the user can actually choose a folder somewhere on their file system. When they do that, the name of the folder gets held in a variable. So you need a, a variable of type string. in order to store the name of that folder after that operation runs, after that activity runs. And that gets stored right here in the output. So you need a, a variable there. After we've got the name of the folder, well, the next thing we'll want to do is actually, I don't know, I guess we need to get all of the files in that folder. And we can do that with an assign value. So I'm going to add this onto the sequence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of the files in the directory. And you can use the directory dot get files method and you provide it the name of the folder which was selected folder you could just hard code a string in there but we've used the selected folder we may as well use it and notice that selected folder variable there is actually this variable that we just declared a moment ago now this comes back as an array of strings so we'll actually need to define a variable called files which will be an array of strings And there we go, that gives us our array of strings. That's called files, and so that's what we're going to get back from that directory got, dot get files call. So now we've got all of the files in that directory. And then I guess the last thing we want to do is just, I don't know, print out all of the files. And we could do that by having a for each activity. So I'm going to drag that for each activity on here. And for each of the for each file inside of files, and that file is going to be of type string, what we're going to do is we're just going to output the name of the file, which is really what that's holding. And I can do that with a right line option. So you can Google, look in here, well not Google, but search for right line. And then you can drag right line on there. And what do we want it to write? Well, we just want it to write the name of the file. So we can do file.toString. And now this will just loop through the name of each file in that folder. So let's take a look at that. Uh, well, I guess we don't have the name of the, we don't have a folder selected yet. I'm going to point it to my, uh, what folder am I gonna point it to? I'm gonna point it to a folder named text files. And it's right off my C drive. And there's my text files folder right in there. So I'm gonna save this. I don't have any little errors there at all. Let me just see if I can get this all on one screen. You can get pretty close to it. Now I'll give this a run. So save, run. Now it's gonna ask me what folder do I wanna use? So I'll go onto this PC, find C, text files, click okay. And then when it runs, you notice it actually prints out the name of all of the, fo all of the files inside of that folder, const in Java, Git shell, June KWP, Scrum, and Scrum. That maps all of these files that are in this folder here. And so there you go. That's how you can use that select folder option and subsequently loop through all of the different files in a given folder. Here we just print out the names, but you could open the files, parse them, screen scrape them. The world is your oyster once you start becoming competent with UiPath Studio. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use that select folder activity in UiPath. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I've got all sorts of other great enterprise software development articles over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.